Mariel Tsukamoto, 86 years old, taught for many, many years, became vice principal and then principal and finished my career at Mary Tsukamoto Elementary as a vice principal. I really enjoyed my years in education and really had a wonderful role model to follow, my mother, who aspired to be a teacher in the 1930s, but unfortunately in those days, someone of her ethnic background would not be hired as a teacher. On December 7th, 1941, uh, my dad was home working on the farm and he happened to come in the house and listen to the radio. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by the Empire of Japan. He rushed over to the church, just yelled, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor, and there was dead silence. After Executive Order 9066 was signed, you saw communities being uh, evacuated. They called it evacuation. The sign said all persons of Japanese ancestry, alien and non-alien, so it didn't identify as us as Americans, were ordered to leave within two weeks with what they could carry. It was a long train ride. We arrived in Fresno. It was called the Assembly Center. It was where we would be assembled because the real camps would not be ready until much later. Got on a train and this time it was, I think, a four day trip. When we came into town, the soldiers would come through and close the blinds. They didn't want anyone to know that we were being moved. And we arrived in Arkansas. Everything was black and I was five years old, just terrified, crying all the time. We knew we were in prison. When we came back in 1945, there was a great shortage of teachers. Isabel Jackson was finally able to convince the school board to hire my mother. Oh, my mother was just elated. She, you know, this was a dream she had given up on. She had a way of looking at each child, reaching them and telling them, you know, you are important and you are worthy and I believe in you. That's where I learned that I wanted to be a teacher. After she retired, the superintendent at that time was Robert Trigg. She told him the story of what happened to us during World War II, how we lost our constitutional rights, and why she wanted to let teachers know and teach about this so that children in the future would be prepared and not let this happen to another group. The board issued a resolution supporting the study in the fifth grade because fifth graders are introduced to the concept of the Constitution. In 1988, the Civil Liberties Act was passed. We fought for, received, and accepted redress. And I was a child. It was, you know, my grandparents' fight. And my parents did the fighting. But I am the recipient. The apology was really quite important. It meant we had done nothing wrong. Uprooted, an American story at the California Museum tells the story. And all of us that are now volunteering at the museum, we do it because we have an obligation to the next generation because of what the last generation did for us. My mother was covered by Cal Sturz, and I am also a recipient of Kelsters. I'm able to travel, I keep myself fit. I went to the northern part of Italy, climbed the hills underneath the Dolomites, went to Lake Como, didn't see George Clooney. Morocco's a wonderful country. I enjoyed a camel ride, a trip to Easter Island, and then my dream trip to Antarctica, to Snow Hill, where the big penguins are. So that's what I'm doing with my retirement and enjoying it so much. Thank you, Sturs.